Welcome back to the West Tennessee Delta Heritage Center's Curator's Corner. I'm Adriana Dunn, the museum curator. Today we're taking a closer look at colored cotton that you see right here, located in the West Tennessee Cotton Exhibit. This is a sample of natural colored cotton. This colorful plant can grow cotton in shades of green, brown, or tan. Thousands of years ago, this variety was cultivated in Pakistan, Egypt, and Peru. This tiny bale of honey-colored cotton was grown by Mr. Percy Martin on his farm in 1989. People who work with colored cotton say that naturally colored cotton often has a softer hand or feel than white cotton. Because the color is made naturally by the plant, it can be easily altered when washed or exposed to sunlight. Natural colored cotton was common before the Industrial Revolution and was popular with hand spinners. However, the white cotton has longer fibers that are better for machine-made fabric, and the plants make almost twice the amount of fiber. Soon, white cotton was almost the only kind grown. Now, thanks to research and interest in more natural living, some natural colored cotton is being cultivated again. The plants are more resistant to pests and drought, so growers can use less water and pesticides in the fields. Then, the fabric made from it does not need expensive and toxic dyeing treatments. Thank you so much for watching this week's Curator's Corner. We'll see you again soon.